hundreds of local Afghans with their prized possessions. Cows, goats, and sheep came to Kunar province in hopes of keeping their animals healthy and providing for their families. We take them, vaccinate them against SL1, which is hoof and mouth disease, black leg, anthrax, and we deworm them. But what this does is prepare the animals for the hard winters coming up. U.S. military members with the Kunar Agricultural Development Team used events like this to train local veterinarians. While they've conducted 21 of these events vaccinating more than 17,000 animals, the team said this outreach was different. Well, this is the first time the Afghans can done 100% vet cap on their own. Before, we've done some coaching and training. Kelly says visits like this protect the local Afghans' livelihood as well as promote the local government. Now, this is important because we've got migrating herds that come here with uh, the nomads. And they'll pass through this area and they can reinfect the herds. So we try to catch as many herds as we can to reduce the amount of disease. People have to have confidence in their own veterinarians. So today, when it's all Afghanis doing this, the local people have more confidence in their government to be able to provide services, but more importantly, they're going to have faith and confidence in the veterinarians. Afghans conducting their own vaccinations not only make them more confident and self-reliant, but the healthier animals mean more money when it's time to sell, boosting the local economy and individual Afghan families. Green Corporal Brian Lett, Kunar Province, Afghanistan.